They betrayed him. And the thing was done. Jesus got up from his prayer and he said, it has been done. This thing has been done. Yes. He that betrayed me is at the door. The exact, I don't, the exact scripture. Let's look over Matthew there. Matthew 26.
Well, they were fearful for their life. Skin for a skin, ain't that what the Bible says? So, we must consider, are we willing to lose our life? And if I had a title for this evening, it would be a life for a life. Jesus gave his life so that we might have life. Amen. And it's the life that he gave us so important to us that we are willing to lay down our life to preserve it. Now we see Peter there. Peter was so staunch in his determination mm -hmm. that he would not deny the Lord. That's he right. said, Lord, surely you have the wrong man. I would not deny I would not betray you, Lord. Amen. And Jesus said, before the cock crow, you will have betrayed me thrice. Mm -hmm. No, Lord. No, Lord. No. It, surely, I will die before I betray you. That's right. That was his words. But Peter, during the trial of Jesus, one of the maids there, of the high priest's house said, aren't you one of his disciples? Peter said, no, no. I, I, I don't even know him. And he denied him three times. Surely I seen you with him. I seen you with him. No, no, I am not one of you. Surely you've got the wrong person. I am not him. That's right. And he betrayed him a third time and the cock crew. And Peter realized what he had done. And sudden conviction gripped his heart. And the Bible says that Peter went out and wept bitterly. Jesus stood there with no man by his side. He stood by himself. Yes. As they mocked him, as they persecuted him, as they spit on him. No one stood beside and said, but this man is one that raised the dead. But this one is the one who healed the lame. Remember the blind man yes. that he healed? Mm -hmm. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? Mm -hmm. Surely he's the Son of God. No man stood beside him. They all forsook him. <clears throat> and Jesus like a lamb, like a sheep, led to the slaughter. Amen. He uttered not a word to apologize. He didn't try to rail against them. He did not try to rail against them. And whenever they asked him, they said, Tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall you see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further witness do we need? They was determined to kill him. Determined to kill him. Amen. And after Jesus was led out, After being spat on and slapped in the face and beat, they brought him to Pilate. <clears throat> Pilate found no fault in him. He gave us, give us. He suffered all of that for us. Consider that, you see. He suffered. He was wounded for our transgressions. Do you remember the person you were before you was a Christian? Mm -hmm. Your transgressions is why he suffered. Amen. He knew no sin. Amen. The Bible tells us. Neither was there any deceit in him. And all of us forsook him at one time. That's right. He did this so that we could be redeemed from a life of sin. Amen. And they took him and they Pilate had him scourged. And we all know, we've all heard of the scourge.